Liv and welcome back to another video. University is coming up very quickly now. It's literally in a month and a bit. So I thought I would start putting out some uni content for you guys. Obviously, I'm going to be loads coming up to uni and one at uni, as I've said many times in my videos. So yeah, today I'm going to be starting off that mini like series kind of thing with uni stuff. But in today's video, I'm basically going to be telling you like brutally what you actually need to take to university. Obviously, I've only done first year so far, but from that, I can tell you really what you do need and what you don't need because I took so much stuff that just literally was sat in the like the drawer underneath my bed and I just didn't use it which was a massive waste waste of space so yeah today I'm going to be giving you like brutally honest what you actually need to take to uni and yeah let's just get straight into it because you know I have a big list let's go so first up let's go with kitchen stuff because there was a lot of kitchen things that I took and I just didn't use. So the first things I have for you guys is two saucepans and a frying pan. So you don't need loads of different size things. The reason I'm saying two saucepans is because I had like a bigger one for like boiling pasta and like a smaller like non-stick one just for like other things. And a frying pan, you literally need one. I literally took so many saucepans and frying pans that they were just under my bed gathering space and dust which i just didn't need so yeah trust me when you're thinking of taking like five different size saucepans you do not need that literally take one or two another thing that i took more than one of was a baking tray why would i need more than one baking tray and if you do need more than one you steal somebody else's in your house so it's fine so the next thing you need one of is a chopping board once again i think i took to be fair, I think I took two and I only needed one because once again you can borrow other people's. Okay, and then with knives and forks and spoons and stuff, I really recommend getting like a different pattern slash different style of knives and forks because it gets mixed up so easily. Like if you're thinking of getting like the plain like silver IKEA ones, everybody will have them and you will lose yours within 0.2 seconds. So like people were clever and got like pink ones with spots on and like different stuff like that so that you know which one's yours mine were just like a kind of different shape so i knew they were mine but if you don't do that then you'll literally lose them with the first week then obviously you need like a sharp knife set and wooden spoon to be fair i took quite a few sharp knives and i use most of them most of the time because i can be able to wash them up oh and also with knives and forks make sure that you bring like a couple of each like make sure on the set it's just like it's not just like one knife one fork like you need a few because you're not going to wash up all the time so that's the same with the sharp knife set you're going to need a few because you're not going to want to wash up all the time um bowls and plates just don't take one of each you don't need like six though either like somebody in my house took loads of bowls and plates you don't need that many just take like two or three i'd say okay so the next thing i'm going to talk about is cups now i'm saying cups not glasses because basically i went to uni with probably i think it was three or four wine glasses two like normal like beaker glasses and i came back with minus two because i broke two of my mugs as well so you really if i were you this is what i'm going to do next year i'm going to take plastic cups with me because everything gets smashed whether it's like pre's or afters like i didn't even smash them myself most of the time it just they might break obviously glass ones are nice to have but Personally, I'm going to buy plastic ones next year because I just see the aid to keep clearing up glass. Um, yeah, again, two mugs, you know, they are gonna smash probably. To be fair, mugs shouldn't have smashed, it's just everything broke for me. You need a tin opener, peeler, grater, bottle opener. These aren't like majorly essential, so if you do forget any, then literally somebody else in your house will have them like i think i was the only person with the bottle opener and everyone just used mine so it's just whether you want your own or not but everybody will have one like, i didn't have a tin opener to be fair it was probably under my bed the whole time i just didn't get it out but i just used other people's because sharing is caring so yeah with all of that kind of stuff have it yourself if you want to be easier but if not just still somebody else's next up tupperware now i know you are gonna go and do an ikea shop and get these tupperware when you get about i don't know how many it was like 20 in a set you do not need that many you literally need like two or three to keep like leftover stuff in the fridge and like use to like microwave stuff to heat it up you do not need the 15 set obviously get it and then keep it for like another time but trust me you're not going to need to take all of them okay next up is tea towels tea towels are like 
the like item that nobody ever has because at the start of uni you all like you're like, oh yeah like you can use mine and stuff this is the only thing do not share keep your tea towels to yourself because they get so dirty and disgusting nobody wants to wash up the dirty tea towels and so just keep them to yourself bring like a big pack and just hide them for your life because they go very quickly i came back with no tea towels um so yeah don't share your tea towels. Um, and then bin bags, I put a question mark because my uni actually supplied bin bags. So bin bags are kind of like expensive in shops. So don't bother getting them until I'd say you're at uni because your uni might supply them because obviously they want you guys to like be clean and stuff. So my uni did. Try and find out if your uni supplies them. Okay, and then next up we are doing the bedroom and stuff that you obviously need in there. So it's obviously like the few things, which is like duvet, duvet cover, sheets, and a mattress protector. Now, if your mattress is uncomfortable, a lot of people got a mattress topper. Luckily, I didn't need one because my mattress was comfortable, but I might have to get one next year, depending on what the bed situation is then. But yeah, a mattress topper can be really comfortable, I have heard good things. And then obviously you need pillows, pillowcases, and then obviously this is up to you. This is what I like doing. I took like cushions, photo frames, I took a diffuser and fairy lights, stuff like that. I actually ended up having fairy lights and LED lights. Ooh. This basically makes your room so much more homely and like it does make you feel less homesick. Like if you have nice decoration, it does make you feel so much better. And the photos really helped with not being homesick, you know, just waking up and seeing like my friends everywhere because I have so many photos and if you go on like free prints and the thing it's like three pounds to get like a lot so i'd recommend getting photos i know everyone does that but do it also a diff you might be like a diffuser or really you're so sorry not even because my room smelt nice all the time like for the whole year and apart from fairy lights just looking cute they were actually so great to have when you're like majorly hung over and like you didn't want like the bright light shining in your face um in your room so i just turned on my fairy lights and like my led lights you know just give like subtle vibes and like not be really bright and like burning my eyes off. Um, now this I didn't take, a lot of people recommend taking a doorstop. Now I see why this would be useful because obviously you can socialize with your like housemates and stuff, but I didn't take one. I kind of regret it. Like at points I did want one. If your room gets really hot, like on move-in day, my room was absolutely roasting. So I would just have like a bag in front of it. So a doorstop would be useful in case your room ever gets really hot and you like want to open it to like, the outside bit so yeah take one in case the one the, the way my house was set up like a doorstop wasn't that needed because everyone was on different doors anyway um so yeah a doorstop may be up to you with hangers your uni probably won't supply them i wasn't sure if they would or not so obviously i take my own but yeah make sure you take loads of hangers it's better to have more hangers than you need you know what i mean but obviously you can always buy more if you're at uni obviously you need medicines like everybody is always like oh like who has paracetamol and stuff just get it before you go to uni it's so much easier because when you feel so ill that is all you want is medicine so make sure you have like a little i had a little like pouch of like medicine stuff we love to see it and then you really need an extension lead because there's no point getting there and then stressing about like where you're going to plug stuff in i had one like by my bed and it was really useful so yeah get an extension lead ikea do really good one okay and then going on to like clothing obviously you need normal clothes night out clothes and then costumes if you're going to join a society or go out on like society nights they do dress up every week and so you'll need them and then you also might need a clothes horse I don't know if you know what clothes horse is, but I'll send a photo, put a photo in. It's basically like a drying rack. And if you don't want to pay like an extortionate amount to dry your clothes in the dryer, like that the uni provides, then I'd recommend these. It was also good for when I was like hand washing stuff and I just hang it up. But like for socks and stuff, I tended to just hang them up instead of going to the dryer, which was like three pounds each time. So yeah, recommend them. I really recommend getting a dirty washing basket so that you obviously you can keep your room tidy and stuff. And also something that you can like transport your dirty washing to like the washing stuff because it's not gonna be like in your house, I presume. Mine was, I had to like walk outside. I took basically like a basket for dirty clothes and I just took that with me. Some people had like a bag to take stuff in but you need something because obviously you have to like take it out and put it in there and then after you just want to like do that with all of your stuff and just get it out of the washing machine and put it in there. Um, I would recommend like the basket thing. I'll insert a photo of like what I mean. Um, instead of a bag because it's so much easier to just everything in. <laughs> 
Um, take a dressing gown, you're gonna get cold, really comfortable, really good for like fire alarms when you just wanna get up and leave. Oh, okay, and then the next one is sliders. I took sliders and slippers, loved them both, it was a great combo. But basically, the floors are gonna be the most vile, sticky, dirty things ever, and you will never go downstairs barefoot or just socks. So you need sliders and also with fire alarms when you wake, get woken up with a massive alarm at 7 a.m. You just wanna put on some sliders and get out that door. You do not wanna hear that noise. So yeah, sliders are 10 out of 10. You need to take sliders. And slippers were just mega comfy when I was cold and stuff. So I'd also take slippers. Okay, and then going on to the bathroom. Now I shared a bathroom with one other just to give you like some context for like what I'm gonna say these things. So obviously some people have an ensuite and some people share with like like their whole house so just take these points into like your like context you know what i mean so obviously take shampoo conditioner shower gel and razors you need a toothbrush toothpaste and a toothbrush holder was very useful to me you won't share all of these things with your other person you're sharing your bathroom with obviously and then you need soap a toilet cleaner bleach toilet brush but with this, if you can, organise with the other person slash other people you're sharing a bathroom with so you don't end up with just like loads and loads of this stuff. Obviously, if you're in an ensuite, take your own stuff, obviously. Um, but I didn't, so I just took the stuff to be honest and then because I was sharing with a boy, so we didn't really clean it anyway. So I cleaned all of that. Uh, and also we didn't have a cleaner for our bathroom. They cleaned the downstairs, but not our bathroom. So take that into consideration. You might think they will, but they might not. I know some people do have like a cleaner for their bathroom, but we didn't. So try to find out that before maybe as well. Okay, and then with towels, take obviously towels and like a hand towel. And I took two, to be fair, I probably could have even taken three because it's just not something that you want to wash. Like it takes up so much space in the washing machine. Like, it's so gross, I know but you probably will leave it for a long time. So I'd take a few so that you don't have to keep putting them in the washing machine. Obviously I did after a bit, but it was probably quite gross. Obviously I shared a bathroom. So I took a basket to like have in the bathroom. So I just put all like my shower bits and stuff in there and then just leave it in the bathroom. Or you can like take it out and take it in depending. But yeah, definitely take like a basket for having a shower and like going to the bathroom and stuff because you won't want to like carry it all like that. So yeah, recommend that. Okay, and then last but not least, we have stationery. So I took a lot of stuff that I just didn't use and it took up one a lot of space once again. So the things that I took, I took too many notebooks. I used my laptop most of the time and I just didn't think about it. Obviously at points like you will need a notebook for like revision if you're doing exams or just like notes in class and stuff if your laptop's like dead or something. But you don't need to take loads of notebooks unless you don't have a laptop or anything. Take pins for your notice board. Your uni will probably supply you for like, with like 10 pins, but I took my own because they were like pink and pretty. So yeah, pins are good for obviously your pin board in your room, but also with your communal pin board downstairs. You obviously need pens, pencils and highlighters, obviously, um, and then take a usb stick you might think oh i don't need like, i have my own laptop for presentations and stuff you'll need to like put it onto there and then take it onto your lecturer's computer obviously that might be different for you now with taking books for your course i'm really happy that i waited until i got there before i bought anything because the online library you can literally read the online like resources so luckily i didn't spend loads of money on books and i waited until i got there but if your course are saying you'll need these and these and these, like probably for like business and stuff, books are quite useful. And for like, if you're doing exams, then books are useful. Try to find out if you're actually gonna need the books or not. I asked my lecturer when I got to uni and she said, no, just don't buy them. I was like, ace, thank you so much, because it's really expensive. And if you do buy them, try buy them secondhand because a lot of people are selling them like at your university and stuff. So watch out for that. Okay, then folders, hole punch and stapler. As I said, I used my laptop most of the time. So I literally took about seven folders and did i use any of them i used about one unless you're doing all your notes on paper i wouldn't recommend taking loads and loads of folders unless you're being really organized i just wasn't first year um and then i took like a file holder i'll try like insert a photo it's like just like a metal rack which is so useful for when i just got back from lectures and stuff and i just put it in there so i can organize it later i didn't organize it later but it was just like useful to have that there so like your bag doesn't get really messy and everything just got scrambled up you need a ruler rubber so then I would get a whiteboard which is really useful and also like a diary slash calendar so you will want to be organized at university and I had my whiteboard literally pinned up onto my pin board 
so it was literally right in front of me all the time which was really useful for writing like deadlines for essays and stuff and just like reminders of stuff um post-it notes personally i didn't use mine i literally never did apart from like trying to like change the color of my light in my room like i didn't because i don't do um exams or anything but obviously with photos take blue tack because tape will like take paint off of your walls which i learned that the hard way i would take scissors and sellotape anyway just because you might want to like pin like tape stuff up like on the stuff that won't chip off paint um that's what i did anyway i don't know if i'm allowed to do that but um i did and it was fine sellotape was really useful so do that and then last but not least take a pack of cards make somebody in your house have a pack of cards because it's so great to have like at pre's and stuff and like afters and just like nights in and stuff so i would take a pack of cards because that was really useful like bring like a few like games and stuff like we had cards against humanities which is fun so just bring like any like fun games you can do like pre's and stuff with you so yeah that is all of my list that i have that you guys really really need to take to you know all the vital things there are probably some things that i've missed out but it's just kind of like common things that you will think of and if i do think of anything that i'm like you don't need that many of that or like this and this and this i think i've got i think i've covered everything but i'll comment it down below and if you have anything yourself which you're like you don't need that many of that but you need that then comment them down below to let everybody else know we can help each other out but yeah this was my second uni video of the year how exciting there's going to be loads more coming up if you have any that you do want me to do i'm happy to do that obviously i've only completed one year but i am happy to like tell you all the things that i've learned from that year so i hope it has helped you out a little bit i wish that i like watched more of these when i went to uni so i didn't take all of the things and i actually listened to the people because i would listen to them and be like actually no, I am gonna take 15 pounds. You don't need to take 15 pounds. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed, follow my Instagram and things, I'm posting a lot on there at the moment. Subscribe to the channel. I'm really, really nearly at 250 subscribers, which is so exciting. And I post a video every week, and I will see you guys with another video next week. Mwah.